Are you stuck learning an acrobatic skill? Initially, progress went well, but then it came to a grinding halt. Or you're just curious if there's a more efficient way of learning acrobatics. In both those cases, understanding the power law of practice can massively help speed up your improvement rate. I'm Aaron, a self-taught acrobatics coach, and over the past decade or so, I've been helping thousands of adults both offline and online to learn acrobatics. I'm also studying sports science and want to take you along with me on the road of motor skill learning. Let's jump right into it. You've been learning the handstand or how to do a cartwheel or perhaps how to macaco. And in the beginning, you felt confident. You could quickly see improvements. But now doing more of the same just doesn't get you new results. What should you do? Scientist McGill recognizes this as the power law of practice, which states the more you practice a skill, the better you get. No surprises here. But two, that with time, your rate of improvement slowly slows down. And we can see this in almost all motor skills. So what do we do from here? Just give up and say it's gonna be a slow, difficult road? No, that would be looking at it the wrong way. Instead, I want to introduce you to what I call orthogonal learning. Pick a new skill that is close to your target skill. Because it's a new skill, you will make fast progress in the beginning. For the handstand, near orthogonal learning means picking a similar balancing skill, like the headstand, for example. You can headstand for just one or two seconds. Don't worry, you'll progress very quickly. Get to five or 10, even 30 seconds. By the time you return to the handstand, you should have already improved. But if the gap is too big, then the transfer will be very small. Let's say you want to do aerials, which is a no-hand cartwheel. And so far, you've been doing one-arm cartwheels just fine. Perfect, but your progress has stalled. What can you do? Very far orthogonal learning means you're picking drawing next. It won't help you with your aerial at all. It's a bit closer if you do a backflip, but probably still very far. What's much closer is the butterfly kick. So here, get those beginner gains. Oh man, this is a lot narrower than it looks on the fisheye lens. Like, I'm constantly about to bump into something. <laughs> so, is making progress really that simple? Well, sort of. McGill and Anderson note that the power law curve is the most prominent type of performance curve in motor learning. But they also acknowledge that different curves like these exist. Did you notice how smooth these look? They went through a process called curve fitting. In reality, of course, learning a skill has a lot more ups and downs in it, like this graph shows. What still holds up is that you can speed up your learning if you those beginner gains. Pick the low-hanging fruit, and that's pretty much the gist of this video. In acrobatics, if you're not just set on learning a single acrobatic skill, but you want to get better at acrobatics or moving well in general, then there's always a low-hanging fruit around the next corner. You now know to do better than that and not chew the same old nuts over and over again. Don't do the same exercise all the time, especially if you're stuck. Instead, you wanna find out how you can pick ripe fruit that is perfect for your current skill level. But how do you know? How do you find the right exercise? Check out the next video if you wanna learn how to pick the perfect difficulty exercise to get you to the next level. It's getting awkward. Am I gonna see you in the next video?